top of the day to you guys out there. I say, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone and when I'm able to upload this video. Man, there's this saying that where two elephants fight, it's the ground that suffer. Where two elephants fight, it's the ground that suffer. But today, we're going to prove that proverb wrong. Where two elephants fight, by the grace of God, it is the two elephants that will suffer. First of all, I just want to play something I want you guys to listen to. I want to play something I want you guys to listen to. You see, Obaseki has spoken. I expected that he was coming to give a press briefing to all Edolites in order to calm the tension down. In order to calm this this range, this this preparation for war between APC and PDP. That was what I thought. But no, he only spoke to his people. He only spoke to his people and he told them that he has already told them that it is them that is going to lose if they don't buckle up. I don't really understand what he meant by, by, by that. If they don't buckle up, it is them that is going to lose. I don't really know what he meant by that, but I think he was trying to sack them that you guys should be up and doing. You should embrace this, this, this battle with all that you've got. So that is why we said we had to elephant fight the grander suffer. A APC has asked the federal government to intervene. They have asked the federal government to intervene. And from the look of things, it looks as if the federal government would intervene. So it's going to be the fight between two authorities, a federal might and a state might. So while we are trying to get what uh, our governor said, we want you to listen to this. You see, he said you are the one that has something to lose. Sacking them that they should be up and doing. They should embrace this battle with all their might so that they would not lose this battle. The governor telling them that now they want to come and arrest our boys when they should arrest their boys. So what do we learn from that? The governor will try as much as possible to protect his boys. He's giving them courage that if a lot of people said he said Nigeria will burn. Uh, what Obasiki was trying, the message he was trying to send was sending a message to the Federal. That was when he said Nigeria will burn. He was telling the Federal that maybe I take time, if not, when I go hear him. That was what Obaseki was sending. So now that he has given these boys courage, power, what do you think will happen? You see, they will do worse than they did the other day. Because PDP, from what we learned, has no business to go to the airport that day. Because that day was the day Philip Shaibo was coming. Philip Shaibo, for a long time, is no longer a member of PDP. A lot of people knew this, that he has, he has danced and has become part of the APC. So why would the, the, the PDP go and meet him? If not to stop him, because they heard that he was coming to take the the deputy governor's office, and probably he had that mind too, because like what he said, he said he said he has the the court judgment saying that he it's it's a, a declaratory judgment that the police should help him enforce to take his office back, and he said he went to the CP. There's a lot of things that we just don't understand. What was the CP doing? in the airport at that point in time. What was the CP doing in that airport at that point in time? What was his official business there? And when people ask him to please help, we have been barricaded, we have been blocked, we cannot leave the airport. 
why didn't the CP do something? You know, there's a lot of we don't really know who the commissioner of po police is siding. Is it the governor or is it the the is it the PDP or is it the APC? We we don't know. You see, that is why we said that this fight is going to be thick. But you know what? These two parties are one and the same, so they understand themselves. They understand themselves. But why I am making this video, listen why I am making this video, if for this small thing, these two parties are fighting now, for this small thing they are fighting, they have disturbed the peace of the land. What will happen? I have said it before. What will happen if the case that has been sent to the Supreme Court about not allowing some party delegates to join in the selection process. What of if that case comes back and the Supreme Court tally the line of the lower court or the high court and says that because people were disenfranchised, that election is null and void, which means Dr. Aswin Iodaro would not be in the ballot. I am envisaging a situation like that. That is why I said we had two elephant fights. This time around, it's one of the elephants that will die. Because power rests with the people. And the people are the grassroots. So, what will happen that day when the court finally give her judgment that Aswen Tigodaro would not be in the Byron box. <laughs> Obaseki who set Bini on fire. And that is why we should prepare now. We should be preparing. Everybody is supposed to mark guard. Everybody is supposed to hold himself. Where would they go? We have to be very careful. And we have to go in groups. Because I envisage a situation. If, if truth is to be said, if the Supreme Court is to tally with what is truth, facts, Aswen Iodaro would not be in the ballot box. I envisage a situation like that. But because I am a Nigerian, I know what can happen in Nigeria. Abracatabra can happen. And everything will just go into oblivion. It will, it will even look as if nothing has happened before. So, but let us keep our fingers crossed. But that does not mean we shouldn't be very careful. This election that is coming, the people must take their state back. You see, I called a friend of mine some few days back because then I have always spoken against Obaseki. Always, always. Check my videos. After the four, first four years, I listened to Obaseki talk in channels. That was when I said, no, 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 no. Because he said that he was not able to do anything in four years. A man that was not able to do anything in four years, we're not able to do anything in 20 years. That is the truth. So, we usually have a debate. So I told him, tell me one thing that Obaseki has done. He said he's happy because Obaseki now push all the Agbero out. But what is happening today? He has clothed them. He has clothed the Agbero. They are now vigilante. Which he is even more, more, more prepared than what Oshobole did. Giving them not Barry now, AK 47. That's what they carry now. So, so those that were saying, ah, for that one thing, and you, you, you will recall that it was the palace that pushed Obaseki to take those actions against the the those fighting for the land grabbers, the Okayeli, and the the, the touts because the palace was against it so it, it, it was the palace that really originated a concept of saying let's do without these people and Obaseki truly he took the bull by the horn and, and we will praise him but he did that because he knew what he wanted now he has clothed them giving them lessons but an agbero with uniform an Agbero with a uniform is the same thing. So, my people, what will happen 
that day when they caught finally it's a question i'm trying to you guys oh and some people will say no 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 the courts will the supreme court will not take such a decision my brother my sister let us really cut our head down and look at it pro properly 500 people were taken only god know where they took them to participate in a selection an election to pick the flag bearer of a party and 300 close to 400 300 and 80 something i don't know was left behind let us assume that those 500 are genuine delegates and let us also assume because the court has said that these close to 400 are also genuine delegates let us look at it it's more than one third that was left out it's more than two third that is left out when in a democratic process we talk about one third and two third some will say two third meaning for example if you divide they, they are they, they are close to a, a thousand now no five and four about 900 which means for for the selection or election to be able to pick somebody you must have one third which is like 30 percent which is like 300 above one third must participate to choose and if you look at it the people that were left at is more than one third if we say okay let's say to third it's even worse huh? it's even worse the, the the people that were left out are so many so that i for one believe because a lot of people are saying that uh, the court did not say uh uh aswe igodaro should not be in the ballot box no 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 it is what we give the courts that the court wants are you the reason is these people have been disenfranchised in this election so please do something about it this election we have been disenfranchised and the guy said it was wrong these people should have participated so the party should try as much as possible to include these people but the truth of the matter is the bus don't already go train don't already leave the train station how can you call the train back and say, okay, these people, you 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 go in? So INEC will not allow it. So that is why I said, except some funny thing happened. Aswen Iwodaro would not be in the ballot box. But that is not my fear. My fear is Obaseki. See what happened. For Shaibo to have come back jubilating, he sent boys to stop him from entering the states with the fear that he might go to the government house and, and now take his seat back imagine when they tell obaseki tomorrow that that's when Nigodaro is not in the ballot box that is why i say make everybody mad god mad god everybody should be ready but i thank god olumide Akbata, who told you he's the best man for the job he is the man of the people and the man for the people he has gone round campaigning talking to the people you know why because he does not believe in the state might or federal might. he believed that power belongs to the people and that was why we said that we had two elephant fights now one go die in this case it is not the grass goes suffer because power belongs to the people we are watching how it's unfolding some people will say you decrease how they go remove aswin igodaro now because they Nigeria and a country where might is right. Because I'll be governor now. I go go begin. Do you know how many senior advocates Obaseki had in that case? Eight! Do you know how much? How much to pay a senior advocate? One. Do you know how much a senior advocate will take from you? He has eight. And now the court has said Shaibo should be paid from April. Abi, was it from, from that he was sacked? But Shaibo has said that his salary has even been stopped since last year. The court has said paying. Definitely in Nigeria, most of these go -go governors don't obey the courts. They look the court like shit and they, they just throw everything away. If not, Obasa Kita will be paying to deputy governor. And that is to inc incur more debts. I think Edo State has close to 600 billion as our debts. How we want to pay them? How we want to pay them? So, so, 
Some of us, when they carry steel, they go to fight for APC, PDP. You don't really know what you... It's, it's waiting for you in the front. If you knew what is waiting for us in the front, that, if Obaseki, come on now, Obaseki, you no know, guy right to... That death's no concern at all. Now you, where did the state? You, where get store? You, that have a place where you, they get your revenue. Where you, they get small, small change. Now the government go tax. Now the government go tax. So, so, that is why we all need to, please, vote the man where he gets sympathy. We go fix say ah, I no go want make a tax my people too much. Make we spread this debt for a longer period of time so that our people will, will be breached. So that the poor can breach. So that is the why we come out every day. Even if now one person will feel convinced, we are happy. Because I listened to is a doctor, Dr. Charles Apoki. He said the idiots we did Nigeria. There are too many. And that is why Peter will be fail. Because Peter will be taught he could talk sense into a lot of people. And they will understand. But you didn't know that in Nigeria we have a lot of idiots. There are too many. There are too many. And a lot of idiots are too many. They form about 80% of the population. People with stomach infrastructure. People that are egoist. They will connive with the few political guys to mess up the whole thing. Is it, is it, Peter Obi cannot come out and begin you skin. They beat you, make you get sense. No, now talk, he will talk to you. And if you talk, you know here, what can he do? You know, a lot now, now the government is blaming him that people are crying that the, the inflation is too much. He said it. He was singing. This ship is sinking. This ship is sinking. We have to take drastic action. A lot of people think he was stupid. Some of us were even laughing at him, saying that madman, they, they give us sense. My brother, even a madman in Nigeria know that that country is sinking. And now, the youth have come out to protest. They say they are preparing a protest. People are saying it is Peter Obi that is leading the protest. Like what I heard, he's going to sue Anonugano, who is like the information or press this thing to Tinubu for five billion for deformation of character, for lying against Peter Obi. Peter Obi is a billionaire. He not go suffer. He said it. He said he want to see Nigeria walk. He does not want to be the the president at all cost. If you put him there through the back door, I will not accept. He has said it. So this is where we will draw the curtain of this video. Remember, Olumide Osagbowo Akwata is the best man for the job. If you want to employ somebody for your company, don't be who be the best man you will employ. It's the same thing. He's the best man for the job. And he has come out. He had, watch my video. For the past six months, we've been telling you about Olumide Osagbo He is the man of the people. He understands the, the, the plight of all of us. Because he's one of us. He don't get Godfather. He will listen to you. So... With that, we will draw the cutting of this video. Those that have here, let them hear. This is TV. We are global and social commentator. If you like what we are doing, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like and comment. You know why? It takes two to tango. And also, after you subscribe, just press the notification bell button. So that each time we upload video, it comes directly to you. And for our returning subscribers, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, but God love you most. As it is the culture in this channel. We'll catch you when we make the next video. Until then, we'll say chooks, ciao, adios, au revoir, hasta la vista, bye-bye, good night, and God bless.